I get excited about cars anymore. Why? Because over the last 20, 30 years, this is where my life has been until this car came along. One of the joys of what I do as a car guy, as a guy who buys and sells, builds armored vehicles, and talking to everyone from all walks of life is you get to learn a lot of things. And it goes the same way with learning about new cars that come out in the market. Okay. And then this car comes along and just gives you that smile every time you see it. This is the Jetour ice cream. Now, I have no idea how the company from Cherry actually came up with the idea of calling this the ice cream, but it does give you that good sense of satisfaction every time you eat ice cream, right? It's absolutely cute. And not only is it cute, it's also very functional. Now, maraming tao na magsasabi, pwede ba sa bahayan? Pwede ba akit ng bagyo yan? Pwede ba dalin tagay tayo? Before we even get into the nitty gritty and the, the, the specific features of the car, let's get one thing straight. This is strictly a city car. That's one thing I never understood about people who review this car. They never told anyone what this car was built for. This is a car for somebody who lives in Fairview and works in Makati, works in Quezon City somewhere. It's a car that's driven around the city lang. If you go to Europe, you will never see a car like this going along Autostrada. But yet, we have people here in the Philippines who will ask the question, Pwede ba sa Skyway yan? Pwede ba sa NLEX yan? Guys, this is not that car, you know? But, for those people who are looking to be free from fossil fuel, some people have that ideology, you know? This is the perfect car for people who drive every day from Fairview to Makati. I don't care how matipid your car is when you're filling up your gas tank twice a week sabihin mo na tatlo apat na libo per time masakit sa bulsa yan ang dami nagtatanong magkano aabuti ng full charge nito so sasabihin ko sa inyo guys ganito ka simple this car has a 13.9 kilowatt battery okay that can claim to have 170 kilometer range. Now, what's 170 kilometers? Hindi ko pa na measure. Pero alam ko, siguro mga dalawang bali ka ng Pampanga yan. But again, hindi pang Pampanga tong kotse na to. Hindi pang NLEX to. Kasi pag tinabihan ka ng bus na tumatakbo ka na 80, malamang tumilapon ka. So, this car is really mainly driven in the city. So, a 13.9 kilowatt battery and if you're paying 11.8 to 12 pesos per kilowatt hour sa Meralco, you're talking about less than 200 pesos per charge. So sabihin mo na na nag-charge ka every other day. It's 200 pesos. Still cheaper than having a gasoline engine. On top of that, you're contributing to the health of the environment. Marami mag-a-argue, sige, mahirap yung mga paggawa ng battery, nakaka-damage sa environment. But that's another debate for another day. So let's get into the car. Now, what is Jetour? Jetour is actually a division of Cherry. Now, as you know, Cherry is one of the biggest automotive manufacturers in China. They build millions of vehicles every year for the general public. This is their electric vehicle. Charging port sa harap, hindi na sa gilid. Para siyang maliit na balikbayan box. <laughs> sa LBC, ano tawag dito? Kilo box. Para siyang kilo box, di ba? It has 12-inch wheels, which is probably not that far off from a motorcycle wheel. Mas malaki pa nga yung rear wheel ng Ducati natin because nasa 17-inch yan, pati yung harap. But, what makes me excited about this car is it works. As you guys know, I owned the uh, Renault Twizy before. 
And that was my first foray into electric vehicles. And I was happy with it. But lang init, walang aircon. This car will surprise you. Because meron siyang aircon. So anyway, let's go into the car. Guys and girls, this is the interior. Kung makikita nyo, sobrang pulido. And this is a... Probably something that the Chinese car manufacturers have done really well is they perfected how to make plastic. And tingnan nyo gano ka pulido yung paggawa ng plastic niya. It's not leather, but it works. Pag nadumihan, pwede nyo lang punasan ng basahan, malinis na siya. The signature flat bottom steering wheel on a lot of vehicles that we see. The car is very simple. And it's probably the first electric car I've seen na disuse. <laughs> Ang pag-open and pag-close ng door niya, pag-lock is manual. To start the car, you have to plug in the suse and start it. So this was probably borrowed from a uh, 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 gas, con uh, gas combustion vehicle. Ano? So, Since wala siyang engine, guys, napakaluwag niya. I mean, I'm 6, well, 5'11 and 3 fourths, 265 pounds. And I fit perfectly in this car. Kahit sarado mo pa yung pinto. The air conditioning in this car is absolutely amazing. So right now, we have 92% charge. So you have about 156 kilometers left on this car. No? And the air conditioning is fully on. Guys, ang lamig. It's absolutely amazing for a small car like this. Ito, may sabitan ng bag. You know, although wala siyang glove compartment, it has so many compartments. Power windows. You know, it has all the creature comforts that you kind of need to get through your everyday life. It has three cup holders in the front, wala sa likod. And what's another surprising thing is, may kasha pang dalawa sa likod. If you take a look, I mean, ako hindi ka kasha. Pero, you know, si Mark, probably kasha. But ayan, no? Guys, nakasagad ako, ha? Nakaupo ka dyan? Tumatama sa tuhod. Tumatama, no? Abante natin konti. Ayan. Okay na. It's absolutely insane the way this car is laid out. And this is the amazing thing about Chinese technology. They're able to scale up and ramp up really fast because they're not afraid to learn and to buy technology. So, may pera sila eh, no? Most companies walang pera, so sila meron. But, anyway, tingnan nyo guys ang floor mat, GR pa eh. Diba? Yan, GR. Baka magalit si Toyota niya. But anyway, so it has all the creature comforts. If you look in the back, guys, yung pagbukas niya ng trunk, automatic, you have a trunk opener in the front. Now, if you don't fold the seats in the back, wala ka talagang trunk space. I mean, kasha lang kamay mo. No? And it comes with this charger. Uh, hindi ko alam kung type 2, type 1, type 2, anong type. Basta isaksak mo, pumasok, okay na yan. Pero, ah, ito. You plug it in your regular electric outlet. Ang daming magsasabi, antagal yan. Guys, mag-charge kayo sa gabi. Parang cellphone. Kung ayaw nyo, magdala kayo ng malaking power bank, baka kasha. O kaya mag-trailer kayo ng generator para hindi kayo maubusan. But like they said, if you don't plan, you will fail. So at night, when you get home, just charge it. pag sa umaga, takbo na. No? But, let me show you. Guys, if you actually fold the seats, ang laki ng trunk. Diba? Kasha si King Panda. So, it passed the King Panda test. Hindi nga lang ako makalinga. Pero kasha tayo dito. Hey. 
Medyo mahirap nga lang lumabas. Pero pasado sa King Panda test. So, it has all the safety features. Hirap magsalita pag nasa labas eh. I-drive na lang natin para ma-explain ko sa inyo gaano kaganda tong auto to. Let's go guys. So guys, one thing you will notice, oh, but anyway, we are inside the 2023 Jetour Ice Cream. Kaninang naka-steady lang siya, mainit. Siyempre, mainit yung aircon, no? Yung compressor, yung pagumagana, yung Freon. But now that we're mobile, ang lamig niya. Guys, I'm not kidding. And I'm not trying to sell you this car, ah. Kasi wala naman akong stake dito kung bilhin nyo o hindi. But, one of them, I mean, mabibilib sa aircon niya. Because coming from a Twizy, dun ka matatawa eh. Coming from a Twizy, na sobrang init, because those cars are really not made for the Philippines, ano? sobrang humid dito. Those cars are really made for Europe. But, this is, this is absolutely amazing. Alamig ng aircon, para ka naka, para ka naka regular na Japanese car. Um, ang ganda ng suspension, uh, very nimble siya. I mean, I wouldn't try doing that if I were you. But, this is a damn good city car. Napaka-pulido ng interior. The seats are comfortable. I mean, they're not exactly Ricaro or they're not exactly Bride. But, it works. Kasha si King Panda. Nakita niyo nga kanina, pumasa sa King Panda test, di ba? But, what's absolutely cool about this car is it drives like a normal car. Now, it has Bluetooth. It also has a radio. I think yung radio na nilagay dito, parang transistor radio lang. All the controls are here. You have your speedometer, your instrument cluster, which gives you all the information you need, which is not a lot. You have your range, you have your mileage, you have your uh, your battery level, you have your speed. Kung naka Bluetooth ka o naka radio ka, you have all your controls in your steering wheel, and that's all you need. Now the headlights, sagabe is pretty good, as you can see, you know. Um, another great feature about this car is its damn windshield. In proportion to the car, puta ang laki ng windshield. May kitang kita mo lahat, to. Oh. Para ka naka Range Rover. <laughs> I'm sure magagalit ka Range Rover sa atin, but anyway. Ang laki ng windshield talaga. So, you know, a lot of people are gonna say na, you know, par laruan lang yan, ganito. Guys, but it's not. For 699,000 pesos, ha? for 699,000 pesos, marami magsasabi, saksaka ng mahal yan. Guys, kung ko-compare nyo for everyday commute lang, absolutely great car. You know? Okay, kung gusto nyo bumili ng motor, bili kayo ng motor, walang problema. But, you can ride, you can, you can fit four people, Two, not very comfortable, but you can fit two people in this car very comfortable, very comfortably. If you're just in Metro Manila or you're in Cebu, you're in Davao, and you're just driving around the area, guys, hindi nyo kaya ubusin ang 170 kilometer range. Sabihin nyo ng traffic, no? Traffic na. Sabihin nyo ng 50% ang mawawala sa baterya, which is impossible, ano? But sabihin mo ng 50%, that's still 85 kilometers per day, ha? Kung hindi ka umuwi ng bahay, I mean, wala kang pwedeng saksakan ng kuryente, ibang usapan yun. But, you know, it comes with a charger, itapat nyo lang sa electric outlet, isaksak mo. Every time you're somewhere na may access ka sa electric outlet, you, know, you don't need a charging station. Right? So, ganun kaganda tong sasakyan na to for the purpose of daily commute. Again, I will stress, this is a city car. Ano ang city car? Kotse na ginagamit sa siyudad. 
hindi pinang po probinsya, hindi pinang babiyahe ng Ilocos. Kasi marami tayong kababayan na talaga filosofo, no? Ipipilit yung gusto eh hindi naman para dito. 'Di ba? So, parang sinabi mo na bumili ka ng bo, ginamit mo lapis pag pirma ng dokumento tapos nagreklamo ka bakit may nagbura. Eh di sana ballpen yung ginamit mo para hindi mabura. 'Di ba? Ganun din to. This is a city car that fits the profile of someone who drives every day, daily commute, gustong makatipid. Again, kinumpyutan ko kayo kayo kanina. At 12 pesos per kilowatt hour, which is not really 12 pesos. Ano? Meralto charges 11.8, 11.4, I think. Ano? And for a 13.9 kilowatt battery, that's less than 200 pesos per charge. That's less than a meal at Starbucks. No? So, mamimili ka ngayon. Bibili ka ba Starbucks o so, pakakarga mo yung kotse mo? Diba? <laughs> But, you know, the suspension is very good. Now, people are gonna say, acceleration. Guys, hindi pang karera tong kotse na to. Although, meron siyang sport mode, ah, which is nakakatawa. Meron siyang sport mode. So, obviously, if you stick it in sport mode and wala kang ginawa, kundi mag, mag, maghataw ng hataw ng kotse, eh, mahubos ka agad baterya mo. Para lang naman cellphone yan. Eh. Yung nakipagdaldala ka buong araw sa telepono mo, mahubos ka rin ang battery, di ba? Ganun din. So, you know, on normal driving, cruising ka lang, traffic, punta ka, bili ka ng pandesal, bili ka ng isda sa palengke, malapit lang sa bahay mo, dito-dito ka lang. Ang ganda na niya. You know, it's, it's a great alternative for people who just want something to drive every day. Now, meron ka apat na anak. Eh, hindi mo naman kasama araw-araw yung apat na anak mo sa opisina. Diba? So, meron kang van. You know, Panghatid sundo ng mga bata. You know, asawa mo, you know, sometimes I ask, you know, this is parang si Queen Panda, tinanong niya, gusto niya mag-drive dito sa Philippines when we were coming from the US. Sabi ko, babe, mas mura kumuha tayo ng driver tsaka kotse. Kasi pag nababangga yung kotse at nakakabangga ka ng iba, lumalaki yung bill. So, mas madali kumuha tayo ng professional driver, which is we're very lucky to have one. We're very blessed to have one, uh, si Mark. At uh, mas okay yon. But for the guy who goes to the office regularly, every day, magpo-commute lang, eh... Ito yung pinakamagandang alternative. Wala pa akong nakita sa market na besides the BYD Dolphin, ano, it's also a great car. But it's also three times the price. But it's a lot bigger. So, again, guys, pag bumibili kayo ng kotse, first and foremost, don't look at the price ng kotse. Ang tingnan nyo muna yung budget nyo. Okay? Now, from your budget, Tingnan nyo kung anong kailangan nyo. Okay? So, first of all, you look at your budget. Second of all, you look at what you need because the car has to fit your purpose. No? You cannot compare this to a lot of other EVs because this is specifically built talaga na pang, pang manay-maneho lang. Parang golf cart, di ba? Parang ganun. Pero hindi siya talaga golf cart because yung golf cart hindi na maaabot ng ganito kung komportable at hindi ganito kalaki. So, kung bibili kayo ng sasakyan, first look at your budget. Pangalawa, look at your use. Kung saan nyo gagamitin. Number three, pag na-define nyo na yung dalawang yan, tsaka kayo maghanap ng sasakyan na mag-fit-fit nung kahon na yun. Ngayon, maraming tao na sometimes pag na-define na nila yun, naghanap sila ng sasakyan, Medyo lumilihis sa kahon. Dahil gano'n naman talaga tayo eh. We rationalize and we start making compromises. But, ang problem sa atin mga Pinoy minsan, puro absolute. Hindi, ganito lang dapat. Hindi, ganito lang dapat. Guys, sa buhay, hindi ganun. If you, if you meet the most successful people in the world, they're not the people who are very rigid. They're very, very adaptable to change and they're very, very adaptable to suggestions na tama. So, kung naghahanap kayo ng kotse, maghanap kayo within that box, nasa sa inyo na, 
pag na-define nyo yung budget nyo at saka yung kailangan nyo na naghanap kayo ng auto, ngayon, you look for the tires that will fit that mold. And then, you can make compromises along the way. Yun ang tama. Kasi maraming tumatawag, nagna-message, ano mas maganda, ito o ito. Guys, all we're here to do as people who do reviews and do videos on these cars is to inform you on what is available in the market. No? Kasi, yan ang passion namin eh. Hindi kami dito para magbenta sa inyo ng kotse. So, wala naman kami komisyon dyan eh, di ba? Wala naman kami kinigita rito. So, andito kami para mag-inform sa inyo. So, going back to this car, this is a Cherry 2023 Cherry Ice Cream. Di ba? <laughs> Natatawa talaga ako. I mean, you know, it's the first time I actually sit in a car and isang araw I was driving it home and I can't help but smile because ang sobrang cool niya talaga. Diba? I mean, you, may, may, penguin, may penguin pa na gumaganong-ganon sa screen. No? So, it's so cute. And the color, it's, it's called matcha. No? But, uh, sobra siyang cute. Mukha siyang ice cream. And nakakita ka na ba ng tao na kumakain ng ice cream na nakasimangot? Diba? Pag kumakain ng ice cream, usually nakatawa, nakasmile. Diba? So, ganito yan. Pag din na-drive nyo to, lagi kayo nakasmile. So, kung gusto nyo ng kotse na nakakaalis ng problema, guys, ito pinakamaganda sa sasakyan. So, anyway, guys, this is King Panda. Luxury Cars Manila. Hindi lang ho armor ang nire-review natin. Hindi lang armor ang binibenta ko. This is the 2022, uh, 2023 Jetour Ice Cream. Available now here in the Philippines at 699,000 pesos with a 6-year warranty and pwede niyong i-finance, I believe, sa BPI and BDO pwede na. So anyway, guys, thank you very much. Andito na tayo sa bahay. And uh, I hope you guys get the chance to experience this car. If if not if nothing at all, uh, if nothing at all, puntahan nyo lang. Kasi may love kayo dito sa sakyan. You know? Sobrang cute. So anyway guys, thank you very much. Have an awesome day. And thank you for supporting the channel. So, ito. Napakadali nito, guys. Pag uwi nyo ng bahay, no? kahit na sabihin natin 10% lang yung natanggal, 20% lang, pag uwi na pag uwi nyo ng bahay, ito lang yan. No? Guys, bumili kayo ng heavy duty na extension cord. Yung makapal. Huwag nyo gagamitin yung mga maliliit na extension cord. Masusunog yun dahil mainit ito. So, pag uwi na pag uwi nyo ng bahay, isaksak nyo lang. Pag nasaksak nyo na, nag-charge na siya, wala ka ng problema. Parang cellphone nyo, di ba? Pag uwi nyo ng bahay, Maubos man yung baterya o hindi, isaksak nyo. That will reduce your range anxiety. Alam nyo yung range anxiety, kagagawa natin mga tao yan, hindi sakit yan. Kalukohan ng tawag yan. Pag hindi ka nagplano ahead, magkakaroon ka ng problema. Pag hindi mo binayaran yung bill mo sa kuryente, mapuputulan ka. Hindi mo lang alam kung kailan. Pero mapuputulan ka talaga. So, ganun lang yun. You have to plan. Okay? So, guys, anyway, again, this is King Panda. Enjoy.